What's yeah. the fabric? This is organza material. In Western Sydney, Juhi Jolapara is helping her customer pick a traditional wedding dress. Give us a spin, like I think it. She started her fashion business at the height of the pandemic. I've always been so passionate about fashion, um, especially South Asian fashion. It's a big part of my culture. She used the social media to grow her business 3,000% last year. Despite her supplier in India being shut down for months due to COVID. I was so lucky enough to have a couple of my videos and posts actually go a little bit viral um, internationally. <laughs> Stuart McKenzie's gym business in Adelaide has also thrived from online sales during the pandemic. In 2020, he decided to pursue his childhood dream to become a distiller, selling up to 4,000 bottles in the first year alone. COVID really, I think, has helped a lot of businesses to open up other avenues of sales and think outside the square. He now wants to expand the business beyond his garage. It's not ideal, obviously, because the business has grown a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Data from the Commonwealth Bank shows credit card spending, including online sales, has rebounded since the Omicron wave peaked in mid-January. Spending on transport, recreation, personal care, drinking and dining out are all back above pre-pandemic levels. We were expecting, just with the huge number of cases that we've seen because of the Omicron variant, consumers to be a little bit more cautious, but we didn't see that. But the surge in Omicron cases after financial support from the government had ended smashed business confidence in December to its lowest level since early in the pandemic. The challenges of navigating surging inflation, worker shortages and supply chain disruptions has hit some business hard. Jane Chan manages a vegetarian takeaway shop in Box Hill in Melbourne's east. She's been struggling to pull in customers since Christmas. Uh, Business is even worse than during lockdowns. I don't know why less people are going out and about. Although we're doing better than CBD businesses, we're still down around 50%. Jane also has another problem. We can't find enough staff. I have to do multiple jobs myself in one day. And the owner sometimes has to work as a chef. She wants more international students and temporary visa holders to return to Australia and hopes more flights will be operating when the international border reopens. It's a different story in Western Australia. They're not even getting visitors from other states. When we hear of the word lockdown or restrictions um, or transitional periods and things like that, that, that means an immediate loss of work for me. Perth musician Nikki D'Agostino is dealing with gig cancellations and delays after restrictions were brought back in late December. I have a mortgage, um, being a homeowner, and it's very, very pressing. For those hoping for a fresh start in 2022, there still might be a long way to go.